Hi, I'm Steve Adler, Education Solutions Engineer at Adobe Systems, and welcome to Acrobat for Education Tips and Tricks. There are three very unique markup tools uh, in Acrobat that I want to draw your attention to. Uh, the first is the attachment comment tool right here. So if I click attach file and I roll over to my PDF document, it'll prompt me to insert any document as a in this case as a, an attachment but it will be accessible via the comment so if I wanted to grab let's say a source document here select this you'll see that I can use properties for this there are some different icons I can choose from some of the other things we saw earlier and uh, I could even in general here put in the subject and description for that particular type you'll see also I have that same thing in my properties area here for easy pull down accessibility and when I'm all set I click OK and you'll see that little uh, paper clip in this case as an attachment where does that reside that resides here in the attachments panel right there so I can take this I can open this up I can begin to work on this and when I save it by closing it it saves those changes back into the document that is residing inside that particular PDF. A very easy way to keep attachments and relevant uh, components to the document all together in one single file. Another tool that you want to take a look at is the record audio comment. Now the record audio comment, I want to say a couple of things about this. When you click on this, you're prompted to either record directly from the microphone or you could choose a pre-recorded sound file in this case now here are some of the caveats for Macintosh users you are stuck with 44k CD quality audio this is going to be extremely large it's going to make a large difference in the file size Windows users you'll have wave formats now wave formats are going to be much more compressed due to the nature of the operating system so keep that in mind don't go overboard with these especially if you're a Mac user Th consider recording those comments in another application and then choosing them from the choose menu here in the record sound dialog box now with stamps we can choose from uh, some stamps included with an acrobat we, our stamps palette in this case we have set up favorites we can use dynamic stamps we can use sign stamps uh, for signing. You've seen these in legal documents or standard business stamps. Now, there are many others you could add to this, and some of the ways you can do this is by importing them, creating these uh, in another uh, application, such as Illustrator. Uh, you could use a PDF, and these then become usable and customizable for what it is you want to work with in the stamp process. I can also uh, choose a particular stamp, add it to my favorites, or better yet, if I have a clipboard image, I can save this as a stamp for, and for use in my stamp tool. Now with any of these stamps, for example, if I took this one and dropped it over here, you'll see the stamp is now on the document. But like any other annotation or markup, if I double click on it, I have my comment layer in which I can describe something relating to that stamp so it's much more meaningful for others who are involved in the review process. So keep this in mind as you move forward, working with the annotation tools and markups uh, within the comment pane in Acrobat.